Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you've all had a blessed day. Um, not really done a lot today, just some washing. Um, <coughs> and ordered some food from my local local curry house. Um, didn't want to do that. I need to get my shopping in, but Iceland being funny, um, they, uh, they come yesterday, apparently they couldn't get access, but no one called me, they usually call me, um, then it said they hadn't delivered it on the site, like, because they couldn't get access, and, uh, then today it said they delivered it, so, it's like, how do you say one minute you haven't, you haven't got access and the next minute you've delivered it, do you know what I mean? So I phoned them up. Woman said she'll email them um, and get them to contact me directly. And no one contacted me, so I phoned up again. And they said they'd be out between 7 and 9 tonight or 5 and 7 tonight and no one's been out. And it's over a £100 order. Ridiculous. Uh, I'll phone them up tomorrow and say I want a refund. Um, and if they mess me about, I'm never going to use Iceland ever again. Iceland will be dead to me. I'll never, I'll never go in there. I told mums not to go to Iceland. <laughs> um, I'm never going to Iceland again. If 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 they uh, do, if the if they rob me, like there's no way. Um, not off a big order like that when, when I wanted my food and I was waiting for my food and do you know what I mean and, and they mess me about the way they have if if they don't sort it out I'm never going to use them again I'll never go in there shopping I'll never order online again from them I'll go to Tesco or I'll go to one of, one of their other rivals um, so yeah um really let me down I, I would have given business for a long time as well do you know what i mean um because i go i've ordered from them a lot um i have done and i would continue doing that because I, I think the food's all right but but if they're gonna treat me like this um do you know what i mean um we'll see we'll see they might resolve it but i don't know they haven't so far so it's been a lot of messing about causing me a lot of stress so so yeah um, <laughs> but yeah anyway guys um enough for that on a more positive note um yeah um i'm still feeling rough still feeling rough but i'm going out tomorrow because I'm going crazy being stuck in. Um, I'm really losing my mind being stuck in all the time. All I got to do is sit here and think. I can do a few YouTube videos, but that's about all I can do, kind of thing. There's nothing else to do. Um, I feel ill, so I don't want to go out in the cold, but at the same time, I'm losing my mind, so I need to, I need to do you know what I mean? But anyway, guys, let's do a word. <coughs> let's do a word. It's, um... <coughs> Jesus teaching on prayer and it's uh, Luke chapter 11 I will go over Exodus again soon enough I need. I know I need to start going over Exodus instead of just the Gospels um, I said they go through the Bible start to finish and uh, the Old Testament and the New Testament so that's what I gotta do so I'll probably do some words on Exodus tomorrow for you guys um, but yeah, Luke for now. So Jesus teaching on prayer. One day Jesus was praying in a certain place. When, when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as 
just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, forgive us our sins. For, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. And temptation. Then Jesus said to them, suppose you have a friend and you go to him at midnight. And say, friend, lend me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me and I have no food to offer him. And suppose the one inside answers, don't bother me. The door is already locked and my children are in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give you the bread because of friendship, yet because of your shameless audacity, he will surely get up and give you as much as you need. So I, so I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds and, the, and to the one who knocks the door will be opened. Which of, your, which of you fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you then, though you, though you are evil... Know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Jesus and Beelzebul. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute. When the demon left, the man who had been mute spoke, and the crowd was amazed. But some of them said, By Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he is driving out demons. Others tested him for a sign. No others tested him by asking for a sign from heaven. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Any kingdom divided against itself will be ruined, and if a house divided it and, and a house divided against itself will fall. If Satan is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? I say this because you claim that I drive out demons by Beelzebul. Now if I drive out demons by Beelzebul, <clears throat> um, now if I drive out demons, demons by Beelzebul by whom do your followers drive them out so then they will be your judges but if I drive out demons by the finger of God then the kingdom of God has come upon you when a strong man fully armed guards his own house, his possessions are safe. But when someone stronger attacks and overpowers him, he takes away the armour in which the man trusted and divides up his plunder. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. <coughs> when an impure spirit comes out of a person, it goes for our places. Seeking rest and does not find it, then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it arrives, it finds the house swept, clean and put in order. Then it goes and takes seven other spirits more wicked than itself, and they go in and live there. And the final condition of that person is worse than the first. As Jesus was saying these things, a woman in the crowd called out, Blessed is the mother who gave birth, to birth and the nurse. Blessed is the mother who gave birth and nursed you. He replied, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. The sign of Jonah, as the crowds increased, Jesus said, This is a wicked generation. It asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah was assigned to the Ninevites, so also will the Son of Man be to this generation. The Queen of the South will rise at the judgment with the people of this generation and condemn them. For she came from the ends of the earth to listen to Solomon's wisdom. And now, there, and now something greater than Solomon is here. The men of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah. And now something greater than Jonah is here. The lamp... The lamp of the body. No one lights a lamp and puts it in a place where 
it will be hidden or under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand so that those who come in may see the light. Your eyes, the lamp of the body, of your body. When your eyes are healthy, your whole body is full of light. But when they are unhealthy, your body is full of darkness. See to it then that the light within you is not darkness. Therefore, if your whole body is full of light and no part of it dark, it will be just as full of light as when the lamp shines its light on you. As when a lamp shines its light on you. <coughs> <coughs> Woes on the Pharisees and experts of the law. In the woes, woes on the Pharisees and experts and the, and the experts in the law. When Jesus had finished speaking, a Pharisee invited him to eat with him. So he went in and reclined at the table. But the Pharisee was surprised when he noticed that Jesus did not wash before the meal. Then the Lord said to him, Now then, the Pharisees clean the outside of the of the cup and dish but inside you are full of greed and wickedness you foolish people did not one who made the outside make the inside also but now as for you no, but now as for what is inside you be generous to the poor and everything will be clean for you word to the pharisees because you have you give a tenth of your mint, rue, and all other kinds of garden herbs, but you neglect justice and the love of God. You should have practiced the latter without leaving the former undone. Woe to you, Pharisees, because you love the most important seats in the synagogues. And respect the pay and respect and respectful greetings in the marketplaces. Woe to you because you are like unmarked graves, which people walk over without knowing it. One of the experts in the law and an, one of the experts in the law answered him, Teacher, when you say these things you insult us also. Teach Jesus replied. And you experts in the law, woe to you, because you load people down with burdens they can hardly carry, and you yourselves will not lift one finger to help them. Woe to you, because you build tombs for the prophets, and it was your ancestors who killed them. So you testify that you approve of what your ancestors did. They killed the prophets, and you build their tombs. Because of this, God is in God in his wisdom said, I will send and prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and others they will persecute. Therefore this generation will be held responsible for the blood of all the prophets that was that has been shed since the beginning of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who was killed between the altar and the sanctuary. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be held responsible for it all. <coughs> Woe to you experts in the law, because you have taken away the key to knowledge you yourselves have not entered, and you have hindered those who were entering. Then when Jesus went outside, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law began to oppose him fiercely, and to besiege him with questions, waiting to catch him in something he might say. <coughs> That's it guys the word hope you liked it hope you can take something from it hope you blessed you in some way i'll be glad when this lag's gone really well it's driving me a bit mad now <coughs> tired of coughing clothes in the wash and the tumble dryer they're probably done now i've just got to take them out um probably take them out in a bit um but yeah guys that's it that's all i want to say um tomorrow like i say i'm gonna get out because i'm starting to go mad staying in all the time 
So I need to get out basically, I'm outside the four walls, um, get some fresh air and I'll probably jump, what I'll probably do is jump on a bus and um, go for a walk basically, that's probably what I'll do. Um, yeah, and probably get a taxi back like I did last time because I got too tired. <coughs> with this lag the chances are I'm going to get too tired but yeah and then on uh, the next day or two after tomorrow well yeah the next day or two after tomorrow I've got to um, I was going to say um, what have I got to do Yeah, I've got to go to the doctors. That was that what I was trying to think of. I've got to go to the doctors to try and get something to help me with this lag. Because it just doesn't seem to want to go on its own. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm getting better and then... And then I get worse again. So I don't know what to make of it, to be honest. It's just a bit of a nightmare. So I need, I need something strong to help get rid of it. Like antibiotics or something. So yeah. But anyway, guys, that's all.